Good day, my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ. In today's video, we will be sharing the messages of Our Lady. Wishing you a delightful start to the day and heavenly power through it, each morning begins with Jesus Christ's holy grace and benevolence. God's blessings are entangled with each one of your smiles, to ensure that as many people as possible see this video, kindly take a moment to share this video and subscribe to this channel. Before coming to the main part of this video, let's join us and pray together. God bless you all. Let us pray. And of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Our Father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors, and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil, Amen. Hail Mary full of grace the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Now and at the hour of our death, Amen. Come Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and enkindle in them the fire of your divine love, send forth your Spirit that we be created, and you renew the face of the earth. O God, who by the light of the Holy Spirit, instructed the hearts of the faithful, grant that by the same Holy Spirit, we may be truly wise, and always enjoy your consolations, through Christ our Lord, Amen. Early in the morning on December 2, a crowd was seen standing on the hill of Kovara where the Virgin Mary had promised to appear. Under the drizzle of the early autumn days, everyone felt a chill, but they were united in praying the rosary, honoring the mother. Everyone attentively looked at the three shepherd children in their worn-out clothes, covered in mud. Lucia began to recite the rosary and suddenly exclaimed, Please kneel down, everyone. She ordered the two, Froman Sisko and Jinsa, to kneel down, for the Virgin Mary is appearing along with the three children. Many people saw a bright light in the sky, in a gaze that was both compassionate and melancholic. The Virgin Mary spoke to the three children, I am the Virgin of the Rosary. I want a chapel to be built here in my honor. Continue to pray the Rosary every day. The Virgin Mary promised to grant the petitions of some people that Lucia presented to her, but she warned, Do not offend the Lord anymore. People have offended far too much. After saying these things, the Virgin Mary pointed towards the sun. In a trance, Lucia exclaimed, Look at the sun, everyone. Strangely, everyone could look at the sun without being blinded. Like a rolling wheel of red fire, the sun suddenly started spinning, dancing, and emitting rays of colorful light. Then abruptly, from the high sky, the sun seemed to plummet like a gigantic ball. In a moment of panic, everyone felt as if the sun were about to fall. Everyone lay prostrate on the ground, beating their chests in remorse, as if awaiting the universe's final moment. Dear brothers and sisters, we are approaching the 106th anniversary of Our Lady's last apparition in Fatima. Our Lady of Fatima once again gave an incredibly significant and surprising word through Father Alida of Brazil on the eve of this major feast, which is also the message we wish to send to you today. The message follows, Dear Son, listen carefully. I come to you to give my love to those who wish to receive it. Humanity has entered into spiritual confusion because you go from one place to another seeking to know more and more about what the Father's house is revealing to you. You look so much that you end up knowing nothing. This is the downfall of souls who think they know everything and know nothing. They will be the ones who will suffer the most when they feel abandoned, even though I have not abandoned them. A period of great tribulation will begin in December of this year, as I said while I was in France, Portugal, and Spain in those three instances. I discuss the source of these impending troubles. Prepare yourself, especially spiritually, for it will not begin with thunder but will be gradual and spread slowly around the planet. During that time period, the already started fight will intensify. Droughts, major storms, and earthquakes will occur in various parts of the world, as you saw in a previous message. But as my Divine Son says, when you hear rumors, do not be afraid. 
Try to maintain the state of grace because the demons will attack humanity with very strong temptations, especially against priests. Pray for them, and also pray for yourself, who are also priests. Always remember who you are. Pray also for your bishop and for all the bishops. Pray a lot for the Holy Father, fasting and making sacrifices for him. I, your mother and queen, will be with all of them who are entrusted to my care and I will not leave any of my children destitute, as I promised many times. I must warn you, these times are part of what I said in my third secret in Portugal. On December 2nd, I will give you a sign, as you asked me. Look, son, that is why I have called you at this hour, to remind and declare that the time for holiness has arrived. At 12 p.m., when the sun is shining strongly on the planet, the bright atmosphere darkens, and the rainbow-like light spreads out around the sun. And the children, oh, I shall return. I want you to send your desires in prayer by opening all the doors in your house and praying for 1 minute and 11 seconds. When you have finished praying, extend your hands to accept the warm rays of sunlight. This is my mercy. That is why I will show you the date I received from God. The mission to watch with the holy angels that the Lord put at my service and all those who gave their lives, there will be a great devastation of Russia instigated by the dragon of hell. This will cause harm to the whole world. However, do not fear. This is the opportune time for holiness. Remember, remember that the saints appeared in times of great darkness, the times of tribulation. Especially this should not be faced with fear and cowardice but with love and courage. Increase your faith, remaining closer to my Divine Son. Keep him in mind at all times and place within him the works and continuous actions of each day, so that constant dialogue with my Divine Son may lead you to belong to him and not to worldly things. My children, sins have exceeded the limits. Shame has become a distant thing for my children. Envy is swarming everywhere in evil. My children need to love as my son loves them. You need to be creatures of good and spread the good seed in order to bear good fruit. Children, I see again how on various continents some places are burning due to fire, and the smoke spreads to other places, making it seem that the fire spread more than is really the case. Little by little, everything will return to apparent normality and my children will leave their homes where they have had to stay, noticing as they come out that the air carries something unnatural with it, and sickness will take hold of my children for a few days. Although you will experience commotion everywhere, my son will send new clean winds with greater strength so that what has been done may depart, and so that you may breathe freely. My children, prepare yourself spiritually. I will not tire of calling you to spiritual conversion. I love you, children. I bless you. I protect you. That comes to the end of the message. Dear brothers and sisters, in the face of the impending tribulations and challenges that lie ahead, Our Lady reassures us not to succumb to fear and cowardice. Instead, she urges us to embrace love and courage, to stand firm in our faith, and to remain close to our Divine Son, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Let us heed her call to increase our faith, to keep him in our thoughts and actions, and to fill our days with his divine presence. We live in a world where sins have escalated, where the sense of shame has waned, and envy perpetuates evil. Our Lady beckons us to love as Christ loves us, to be instruments of good, and to sow seeds of kindness and compassion. As we witness the turmoil and strife that pervades our world, we must cling to faith and hope, knowing that even amidst the darkness, the light will prevail. As the world grapples with the consequences of its actions, we must ready ourselves for the spiritual battle that lies ahead. Our Lady beseeches us to prepare spiritually, to embrace spiritual conversion, and to draw closer to the sanctuary of God's love and grace. May we all heed Our Lady's divine message, embracing the opportune time for holiness. Let us stand united, holding firm to our faith, and shining the light of Christ's love upon the world.